There are at least 22 early saints associated with County Carlow and the surrounding area. Some were born and spent their lives here, others came to be educated or to found monasteries. Some embarked from the county on great missionary endeavours, such as Willibord, to preach the gospel in the Low Countries and founded a monastery in Luxembourg. Columbanus, traditionally believed to have been born near Michel, is regarded as the first great Irish missionary on the continent, where he founded many monasteries, including Luxai in France and Bobbio in Italy. St. Fintan, known as the father of Irish monasticism, spent his early years in Carlow before founding his monastery at Clonay in County Leash. St. Falk Tiernan left his native Meath and travelled down to Carlow to set up a monastic community at Caluchternan and Tullow. He was the teacher of St. Finian, himself known as a great educator. St. Finian left his native Carlow to study in Wales before establishing the famous monastery at Clonard in County Meath. St. Lesserian, originally from Ulster, studied at Clonard and later became the abbot of the Monastery of Lachlan, founded by St. Goban in the year 600 AD. St. Moling founded the monastery at St. Mullins and is associated with several sites in the South Carlow area. In the northeast of the county, the monastery at Clonmore had a succession of saintly abbots. The majority of sites along the routes have associations with one or more of these saints. These associations are sometimes in the forms of remains of buildings and monuments on sites inhabited by the saints in their day, but they're also evidenced in the dedication of later churches and the iconography of stained glass windows. These saints of early Carlo still play an active role in the religious lives of the contemporary Carlovians and indeed contemporary Europeans. If you want to connect with many layers of the past, if you like to wander off the beaten track, if you're inspired by beautiful landscapes and stirring stories, then follow the trails of the saints in County Carlo in Ireland's ancient east. There are three separate trails within the county, each named after an important saint associated with the region. Follow these routes together with the guidebook to discover the rich history of Christianity in this area, while taking the opportunity to experience its natural beauty as you travel the length and breadth of County Carlow. Named after St. Patrick, the great evangelist and patron saint of Ireland, this trail will take you across the northernmost portion of County Carlow, covering the areas around its largest urban settlements, Carlow and Tullow, and east to Clonmore and Rathvilly, where St. Patrick is said to have preached. Beginning in Carlow Town, you'll have access to numerous sites reflecting the 19th century revival of Catholic places of worship and education. Equally so in Tullow, where there's also evidence of the role of the Catholic Church in the struggles against English rule during the late 18th century. The beautifully carved door at Kileshen and the crosses and holy well in the peaceful village of Clonmore are excellent examples of the county's early Christian and medieval heritage, while a stopover at the Omara tomb in Benakeri churchyard will introduce the visitor to a famous Carlo artist. This trail covers the mid Carlo area as it spans east to west and is named for the particular influence of St. Lasserian, founder of the See of Lachlan and its first bishop. A visit to one of Ireland's finest medieval churches, St. Lasserian's Cathedral in Old Lachlan, makes a perfect start to this trail. Travelling east, you'll pass through Lachlan Bridge on the River Barrow and its Garden of Remembrance, and a short way south, you'll find the extensive ruins of Wells Medieval Parish Church. There are three holy wells along the route and numerous churches disused and in use and all with unique histories that demonstrate the ebb and flow of both settlement and faith through the centuries. The village of Michel, in particular on the slopes of the Blackstairs Mountains, has a wealth of sites of significance including the remains of a Romanesque church founded by St. Finian, St. Bridges Well and the Adelaide Memorial Church, an early 20th century church of exceptional architectural beauty. St. Moling's Trail follows the Barrow Valley and covers the area defined by the course of this grand geographical feature as it extends down the southwestern border of County Carlow with the north-south stretch of the Blackstairs Mountains on the horizon to the east. St. Moling, the 7th century saint, ranks among the four great prophets of Ireland. 
The monastery he founded at St Mullins beside the River Barrow is the highlight of this trail. There are, however, other exceptional experiences awaiting the visitor. The isolated Temple Moling in Ballinree and the diminutive early medieval church at Caluchternan are set among the breathtaking scenery. This trail also includes the beautiful medieval Cistercian church at Gregnamana, now adapted for modern use, as well as the stunning Boris House and its adjoining chapel, a fine example of gentrified living in the county. <laughs>